is a quick Map Business Online video on how to import territories using the Create Territories button on the toolbar. Navigate to where your territory data set might be. I'm going to just drag my little finder over here. And I know that my territories are right here in this Excel spreadsheet. I could have used a CSV file, but I'm just going to pull in this XLSX file. I'm going to glance at my wizard, make sure everything seems to be falling into place correctly, and just verify that zip codes and territory name are applied as desired. My territory is going to be based on zip codes, and so my spreadsheet is filled with zip codes that are each assigned to a territory name. So I verify that with these drop downs and everything looks good and I create my territory list. This puts a series of territories on the map and presents a legend. As you can see up here in the upper left is a legend. I can then verify that all 16 were created clicking OK and I can see in the data window that my list of territories looks accurate. My placement on the map just at a first pass looks pretty good and I'm going to just click this closed for now. We're going to look at the map and just think about what we'd like to do in terms of maybe uh, rearranging those labels a little bit so they're a little bit more visible. You can move those around manually. We can go into the territory layer in the map and data management dialog and click the edit gear and think about the size of the labels so I might want to make them smaller. We can also under general change that color code functionality so that instead of just being a random application of colors I could use something in my data, a column of my data, maybe sales dollars or sales reps or I could go to demographic data and out of my demographic data I have a lot of choices over a variety of years um, just for the sake of expediency I'm going to project pro I'm going to pick our projected population and I like to have uh, my territories in distinct colors so I'm going to just go with that and I'll stick with a range of five populations just for expedience so now we've we've adjusted our colors. I see that my color adjustment doesn't really work well because I've got territories that are within the same range of population. So then I would just clear that and go back to my original sort of view and I can change colors manually. So for instance, perhaps in Pennsylvania, I'd like to change by hitting that edit gear, I select Pennsylvania and change my color to something that differentiates my map a little bit better right there. I can also choose under general to hide the internal boundaries so I can get rid of any of those zip codes that are showing up and kind of making my view a little bit obnoxious. Um, speaking of obnoxious, I could change that blue right there which I don't particularly like and I might make that Oh, let's choose what? Maybe a pastel yellow. Maybe maybe a, a, a paisley, a, a sort of a different blue. Okay, so now we've got our colors set up. Now, just so you know, there is a a function here in Manage Map and Data under the overall edit gear for Manage Map and Data. I can go down to the zip code options and I can choose to have my zip codes include zip codes with fillers which I always do and that gives me the option when I'm building a territory and you can see down here in this Atlanta territory we've got a bunch of national parks and military installations that show up as blanks across our territory these are not zip codes these are where zip codes don't exist so the maps telling you what's real but you can actually override that so for instance, we could take the polygon search tool and we can just do a polygon right around our little territory there. It's probably going to want to see the zip codes turned on. It says they're invisible right here. So we'll just choose the zip code layer. We'll click next. And I'm going to add 
all of those fake zip codes. So what it's doing, we have like fake zip code names assigned to those blank areas, and we're going to add those to that Atlanta territory, and you're going to see those disappear. So that kind of is a way to clean up your, um, your territory view and maybe get rid of those open space areas here with no zip codes assigned so that you are aware that that can be managed. So the next thing I'd like to do is just create a region out of some of my territories, and that's pretty easy to do. So I can simply grab my polygon tool, and I'm going to just run it through my territories in the south. Bring it back to the beginning. I'm querying my territories, and I'm going to call that southern region one. I create that and now I have selected a region and uh, it includes those three territories. I can close this now and I can get rid of. So that light blue is a region. If I open up my manage map and data, I can adjust my region look and feel so that it's transparent because I don't want to override my territory view that much. Again, I can hide the internal boundaries. And what I like to do at a region level is maybe make my boundaries a little thicker and make them stand out. So I can give them sort of a red edge. And then I know that I'm looking at a region that's encompassed by that red uh, functionality and I can use that southern region label as I see fit and I can actually go in and change my label and I don't like that green background I'd rather have sort of a I think I'm gonna go like that with my background and make my font pop in red too so that it just kind of adds to the To the overall, I can actually make my uh, my region labels, and I'm just tweaking as I go here. Uh, I can make them larger, differentiate them because they're regions, and there won't be that many of them. So this is a great way to import a spreadsheet, create a scheme of territories based on zip codes, create regions out of those zip codes, and tweak your map to make it look the way you want it to. Go to mapbusinessonline.com and take our free trial.